Roller coasters have been thrilling Americans for more than 130 years. The first opened at Coney Island right here in New York in 1884. But they really took off during the Roaring Twenties. Hundreds were built across the country, some still operating today. Derek Thompson is a senior editor at The Atlantic and a roller coaster fan, right? I am. We're both right. petrified, so <laughs> guide I'll do us my through best this. To persuade you of their worth. Back in 1884, were they anything like what they are now? They were really nothing like they're like right now. I mean, 1884, you're talking about 20 years before the Model T. So the concept of being moved by any sort of vehicle was, was quite new. Here, in what we're looking at right now, you see that they, they actually had to push the car just to get it going. It traveled about six miles an hour. It's a lot more like sort of a, a leisurely see, that ride down. Coaster I, I, ride I would take. Too, okay, th one. this is not exactly vertiginous. This is extremely easygoing. All right, let's take a look at some of these. The world's oldest working roller coaster is called Leap the Dips in Lake Mont Park, Pennsylvania. Leap the Dips, 1902. Once again, we're not really quite at the golden age of roller coasters as we now recognize them. But you take a look at this one. It, it's about 40 feet tall, moves about 10 miles an hour in a beautiful figure eight. Again, uh, requires it to be pushed just to get it going. Um, but, you know, this is in Pennsylvania with a lot of these old roller coasters, sort of the, the, the national state of roller coasters. I always look at the wood construction of these and start to get a little nervous. Yeah, well, this is actually, I think, a part of the meta joy of roller coasters coasters like this. On the one hand, you have roller coasters, which are sort of inherently scary, but there's sort of a next level of scariness when you're worried that the entire structure <laughs> might itself yeah. might fall apart. It's sort of right. The thrill on top of the thrill. But here, once again, you know, you, it's, it is still fairly leisurely, 10 miles an hour. Uh, that's a six minute mile. So, you know, people can sprint or certainly bicycle ride at the speed at which you're sort of you know, leisurely, uh, you know, rolling uh, down you know, this ride. That's impressive, though. You said that. So this is like more than 100 years old, this one. Yeah, this is more than 100 years old. Yeah. You're, you're still, this is still made before the airplane, before the Model T. This yeah. is the structure. Let's go to the second one on your list. This is in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. And this one also, this was built in 1917? 1917, yeah. This is in, in Kennywood. Oh, no, no, this is in Upper, yeah, Upper Marlboro. Marlboro, Maryland. Yeah, yeah this is great. Yeah, this is America. the wild one. This is one of my favorites, actually. In 1917, this is really the one that might be the first roller coaster that we recognize as, as having sort of, you know, a modern oh. thrill. Right. So this, you have a 70-foot drop. Um, um, an 88-foot drop, about 50 miles an hour. Now you're really moving at the speed uh, of an accelerating car. Uh, the ride itself is about is about two minutes entirely. And yeah, this is you know the wild one is is one that I've definitely been on. And again, you do sort of feel the meta danger. On the one hand, it a is a total lane. thrill, but at the same time, look, I mean, you're talking about what looks from afar like a bunch of matchsticks, and so yes, there is a bit does. of a fear. There also seems to be a jerk factor in this GoPro video that I don't think I would enjoy. Very right. Much. Well, here, yeah, here they, they've moved beyond. What used to be called side friction technology, which meant there weren't wheels underneath the track. Here, you still get a little bit of air time, but it, it is perfectly All safe. right, let's move on to Kennywood Park, located near Pittsburgh in West, West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. Kennywood, right. This is, uh, there is a trio of, of lovely old roller coasters here. We'll start with the Thunderbolt, uh, which in many ways is considered uh, one of the great roller coasters, one of the great faster roller coasters. You have a 90-foot drop here, accelerating uh, at 55 miles an hour. And wow. it's, and it's Top speed here you see that you're starting with a drop and the interesting thing about it is you start with the drop and it's in the middle of the ride that you begin to have a lift that picks you up towards the second one um, that's one of the things that makes it uh, distinctive it is still listed by roller coaster enthusiasts as one of the 20 best roller coasters in existence today. even even oh. though it was created in 1924 that's really even impressive. In the 1920s very much the golden age of, of these sort of roller coasters you had a lot of these wooden roller coasters built in the 1920s as different parts of the country were sort of trying to outdo each other in terms of speed and, and drop. Well, you said different parts of the country. Let's move away from the East Coast because Utah has one lagoon park. They opened, it's actually called the roller coaster. Which called is the roller coaster, name. maybe not yeah. the most creative name for <laughs> roller coaster ever created. But the nice thing here is that as you begin to see, as you come out of the first turn, you begin to see mountains in the background, which is a little bit different than Pennsylvania. Uh, but once again, here you have, it's 2,500 feet long, the top speed, 45 miles an hour. So again, this is very much like the roller coasters that we understand today. It is the only wooden roller coaster in Utah. Um, and you can see this sort of the, the, this vast expanse that you have at the top of the first drop, uh, which I think makes it sort of special. It's, it's pretty cool looking. All right, we should, lastly, we should mention the Cyclone here, of course, in New York, Coley Island, which uh, you've ridden this one. I, yep, I think many of us have, right? Yeah, 
and which no, uh, not us, or maybe but yes. not the roller coaster. <laughs> maybe our floor crew. People are afraid of which them. most people think of is, is the oldest coaster in existence, right? They, a lot of people think it's the oldest roller coaster in existence because it's in Coney Island, where the first roller coasters in the U.S. were built. But in fact, it's the youngest roller coaster on our list. list. Uh, okay. With the upkeep that you have, it still it looks fairly modern. Um, and this really, this is the fastest roller coaster that we have here, over 60 miles an hour, overlooking the beach and the boardwalk, iconic in lots of ways, and clearly the most popular, the most famous roller coaster uh, in the United States today. Well, thank you for that morning nausea. I appreciate <laughs> thank it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm ill now. Thank you, Derek Thompson.